हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज 80386 सिग्नल डिस्क्रिप्शन पार्ट टू इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑन 80386 सिग्नल डिस्क्रिप्शन पार्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस सिग्नल्स फॉर क्लॉक डेटा बस एड्रेस बस बस साइकिल डेफिनेशन एंड बस कंट्रोल इन टूडेज वीडियो यू विल लर्न द बस arbitration signals the mechanism by which the processor relinquishes control of its local bus when requested by another master then coprocessor interface signals dedicated to numeric coprocessor interface and interrupt signals inputs that can interrupt or suspend execution of processor current instruction stream let us start welcome to our channel engineering and technology for you kindly subscribe to the our channel if you are not subscribed and press the bell icon to get notifications about future videos the topic for today is 80386 signal description part 2 we will start with the bus arbitration signals these signals show us the mechanism by which the processor relinquishes control of its local buses when requested by another master so in case of the direct memory access dma operation the dma controller will request the processor to relinquish the control of its local buses relinquish means to hand over the control of its local buses to the dma controller so here we are going to study two signals hold that is bus hold request and hlda bus hold acknowledge first let us start with the bus hold request this input indicates some device other than 80386 requires bus mastership hold must remain asserted as long as any other device is a local bus master hold is not recognized while reset is asserted if reset is asserted while hold is asserted reset has priority and places the bus into the idle state rather than the hold acknowledge that is high impedance state hold is level sensitive and is a synchronous input hold signal must always meet setup and hold times t23 and t24 for correct operation so when hold is held high that means some other master is requesting for the use of buses then let us go to the bus hold acknowledge hlda assertion of this output indicates the 80386 has relinquished control of its local buses in response to hold asserted and is in the bus hold acknowledgement state so in response to hold signal by the another master the 80386 relinquishes its buses so with the help of this hold signal and once the hold is high it means that it is in the hold acknowledged state the hold acknowledgement state offers near complete signal isolation in hold acknowledged state hlda is the only signal being driven by the 80386 the other signals or bidirectional signals d0 to d31 then be 0 to be 3 that is uh, bus enable signals then a2 to, to a31 that is the address bus then wr read write then data control dc m io that is memory io lock and ads 
all are in high embedded state so that requesting bus master may control them so all these signals are given to the bus master and he can use it then pull up resistors may be desired on several signals to avoid spurious activity when no bus master is driving them so at that time we will have to put the pull up resistors then next is coprocessor signals these signals are dedicated to the numeric coprocessor interface in addition to this data bus address bus and bus cycle definition signals this following signals control the communication between 80386 and its 287 or 80387 processor extension so the first signal is PERQ that is processor extension request or coprocessor request then BZ that is coprocessor BZ and third signal is error that is coprocessor error let us see the processor extension or coprocessor request first so when asserted this input signal indicates a coprocessor request for data operand to be transferred to or from memory by 80386 so the coprocessor will give this request in response to response the 80386 transfer information between the coprocessor and the memory because 80386 has internal stored coprocessor of code being executed it performs the requested data transfer with the correct direction and memory address then this preq is level sensitive and is allowed to be asynchronous to the clock to signal so when this becomes high it is level sensitive the that means the 8036 will transfer information between the coprocessor and the memory that means the coprocessor has some data to be transferred to 8036 then next signal is coprocessor bc now when asserted this input indicates the coprocessor is still executing an instruction and is not yet able to accept another that means the coprocessor is busy with execution of instruction so again this is busy hash that means it is active loop so when 8036 encounters a coprocessor instruction which operates on numeric stack example load pop or arithmetic operations or the wait instruction this input is first automatically sampled until it is seen to be negated so this sampling of busy hash input to prevents the overrunning the execution of previous coprocessor instruction so always the this signal is sampled so that whether the coprocessor busy or whether it is free it will be known to the processor then <coughs> next signal is coprocessor error this input signal indicates that the previous coprocessor instruction generated a coprocessor error of a type not masked by the coprocessor's control register so this is automatically sampled by 80386 when a coprocessor instruction is encountered and if asserted the 80386 generates a exception 16 to access the error handling software so this signal again it is active low so once when it is sampled and the there is a, means instruction uh, error is there it will generate the exception 16 so to access the error handling software so error is a level sensitive and is allowed to be asynchronous to clock to signal then next signals are interrupt signals the following description covers input that 
and interrupt or suspend execution of the processor's current instruction stream. So we have the three signals here, INTR that is maskable interrupt request, then NMI non-maskable interrupt request and reset that is for the reset. Let us see the maskable interrupt request. When asserted, this input indicates a request for the interrupt service which can be masked by the 80386 flag register that is I of bit. So, this is a maskable interrupt request. So, it can be masked by the I of bit of the flag register. When 80386 responds to the INTR input, it performs two interrupt acknowledged bus cycles. And at the end of the second, latches an 8 bit interrupt vector on D0 to D7 to identify the source of the interrupt. So, in response to INTR, it will perform the interrupt acknowledged bus cycles. And in that, it will latch the 8 bit interrupt vector on the bus D0 to lower order bus. Then INTR is level sensitive and is allowed to be asynchronous to the clock to signal. So it can it is level sensitive. So uh, we can connect any interrupt to the INTR pin so that it can interrupt the processor. Then non-maskable. This input indicates the request for an interrupt service which cannot be masked by the software. So that's why it is called as the non-maskable interrupt. Non-maskable interrupt request is always proce processed according to the pointer or gate in slot 2 of the interrupt table. Because of the fixed NMI slot assignment, no interrupt acknowledge cycles are performed when processing NMI. So there is no need of interrupt acknowledgement cycle for NMI. Then NMI rising edge sensitive and is allowed to be asynchronous to the clock to signal. To assure recognition of NMI, it must be negated for at least 8 clock to periods and then asserted for at least 8 clock to periods. So it is edge sensitive. That's why first it is negated and then it is asserted for at least 8 clock periods then it will be recognized and then it will be processed then the last signal is reset this input signal suspends any operation in progress and places 80386 in a known reset state 80386 is reset by asserting reset for 15 or more clock to periods 80 or more clock to periods before requesting self test so that is for the self test when reset is asserted all other inputs are ignored and all other bus pins are driven to idle state as shown in table 1 so you can see here the ads is high during reset and d0 to d31 that is it is high impedance state in the high impedance state and b 0 hash to B, P hash, they are low, then the address was A2 to A31, it is high, and then write read signal, it is low, then data control signal, that is high, M IO, that is memory IO signal, it is low, then lock signal, it is high, and HLDA signal, it is low. Then if reset and hold are both asserted at the point in time, reset takes priority even if 8036 was in hold acknowledged state prior to reset asserted. So, reset has the highest priority even if hold comes during a or it is in the hold uh, acknowledged state and then reset is there give priority to the reset. Then with this we see the summary. 
the first we have discussed the hold signal that is the bus hold request it is active high it is a input signal and uh, input it is synchronized with the clock too. so this is the signal for the uh, other bus masters to request for the hold of the buses then hlda this is the bus hold acknowledge again it is active high it is output signal so uh, when the cpu relinquishes the buses this signal will become high then prq that is the coprocessor request or processor extension request so that is again active high and it is a input signal so when uh, the 80386 receives this signal that means the coprocessor has data to be sent so then it will uh, provide the information for the coprocessor then bz so this signal is coprocessor bc it is active low then error it is coprocessor error it is again active low again it is a input signal from the coprocessor then these are uh, the async with the clock then intr that is maskable interrupt request it is active high and it is input signal then nmi is non maskable interrupt request again it is active high it is input signal and reset reset is for the resetting it is active high and input signal and it is synchronous with the clock so this completes the signal summary and with this we complete the signal description for 80386 if you have any queries you can contact me on facebook twitter or gmail or instagram then if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon if you want to get notifications when we are loading the new videos on the youtube then thanks for watching